Hello, my name is Jennifer, and welcome to my Maxi Monthly live stream overview for September 3rd, 2019. Now, the main purpose of this Maxi Monthly was to showcase some new objects coming to the game to celebrate the five year anniversary of The Sims 4, which was released on September 2nd, 2014. We did also get an update from the Fire Monkeys in Australia about a new Sims TV project they're doing on their YouTube channel, and they showed their video which showed some information about items coming to both Sims Freeplay and Sims Mobile for the collab with Moschino as well as a new update for Sims Freeplay for fine dining. I will link to their YouTube channel with that down below if you'd like to see more details. Now moving on to to me the exciting part of the live stream is the new content coming to the Sims 4 this week in a game update which was confirmed by Sim Guru Frost to be on Thursday, September 5th. I would expect that to be at 10 a.m., but that was not actually confirmed, but that is the normal release time for updates. Now, the exciting part that we're getting is we are getting new customizable stairs. I am so excited for this, and it exceeds my expectations. I was just hoping for spiral stairs. Instead, we're getting these customizable stairs, which you can do pretty much from the looks of it anything you want. You can make U stairs, you can make L stairs, you can make whatever shape you want stairs. And the other advantage is that this is just a new tool that works with all the stairs in the game, which just allows so much more customization and versatility than just giving us a few spiral staircases. So for me, I I'm really happy. And it looked like with a little bit of practice, you could probably get used to using it fairly easily. We'll see when we get it on Thursday. Of course, th we're getting it on PC, Mac on Thursday and console will be getting it at a later time. But I expect it will come before they get Realm of Magic, which is later in October, October 15th to be specific. So I, you'll have seen, cause I'm going to be showing some video clips and later some picture clips of some of the things we're getting in the update. So along with those amazing customizable stairs, we are also getting some new create a sim content and some new build by contents. Now for create a sim, we are getting some new Muslim inspired clothes for both males and females. That is both adults and for children. So we are getting a mixture of clothes that can be used. Um, and the hijab can be used with any clothes in the game. It's actually separate, not part of the outfit that they show in the picture for the women. We also are getting some just regular clothes. There was a jacket for males and I couldn't tell for sure if the outfit on summer holiday was a one piece outfit or if it was like a top and a bottom, but we're getting that too. And there was a comment that we're getting more than we were shown in the live stream, but I don't then, but then they showed us a couple of more items. So I don't know if that is it or if we're going to get a more create a sim than what we saw in the actual live stream. We'll have to wait and see on Thursday. So in addition to the create a sim items and the customizable stairs, we are getting more build by objects. We are getting a new lounger and some new lounge chairs that are coming in some plain patterns and some fun patterns. The fun patterns they showed were grilled cheese, flamingos and plum bobs, but also some plain ones. They wanted to make it so that they would be fun to celebrate the anniversary, but also have some plain things for everyday use. Uh, we're getting a new side table, which is meant for patios, but obviously you can use it anywhere. And for the first time in a while, a new gnome, but this gnome actually is sort of like a pedestal that you can put things on, sort of acts like a side table. We are also getting a new patio table with fun tablecloths, though they only showed one of them, but I expect they match with the lounge chairs. So that should be fun to have in our game. We're getting new lights for outside, which are ground lights that sort of angle a little bit. So they'd be good for spotlighting on things, which obviously you can use them inside too, if you so choose. We're getting a new stilt foundation. We got stilt foundations with the 
pre-island living update and those were really meant more for being over water and I tried using them for patios and they didn't work so well but these are meant specifically for patios so of course you can use them however you wish and those new stilt foundations came with new fences and new railings for stairs and they light up at night which is I think a really fun touch and will be good for adding some lighting at nighttime in your yards. We're getting a new potter which is sort of rectangular and it can shape together and it'll clip together or it can be used on its own. In addition to that, we're getting a new door, a new archway and some new windows, which are sort of Middle Eastern inspired, which will add some versatility to being able to do builds. So that's another fun thing that we are getting. As I mentioned already, this is coming to PC Mac in the game update we're getting on September 5th to prepare our games for Realm of Magic and console will be getting it later. Realm of Magic itself wasn't discussed in this live stream because it's going to be discussed in detail in the live stream for Realm of Magic on Friday, September 6th, which is at 11 a.m. Pacific. So let me know what you think about the new free content that we're getting. I'm just so happy for these stairs. Uh, it'll help with doing floor plans that I see all the time and so many houses have u-shaped stairs or l-shaped stairs just it's just going to make building so much easier once we have this tool in our games but that's going to be it for this video thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time bye this has been Jennifer. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos of challenge, let's plays, tutorials, and occasional speed builds, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks very much.